the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Okay, so let's start by creating a new project and filling out the project properties. Now let's select the window and change the properties by going to the properties panel. First let's uh, set the width to 400 and then check the allow transparency checkbox so that the window um, header is removed and change the resize mode to no resize. Let's run the application. Uh, let's go to properties and uh, change the width to 350. Now let's zoom in and let's add a rectangle on top of the window. Before that let's uh, uh, change the background to no fill and then select the rectangle and drag it on top of the window. Let's change the radius of the uh, newly created rectangle. Now remove the stroke. Copy and paste the rectangle on top of it. And change the fill to blue. Okay. Now let's add one more small rectangle to hide the uh, rounded corners of the rectangle on the bottom side okay now let's add an image on the top left corner and fill it with an hamburger menu icon Now let's add a title, here we are making use of the text block, let's add some text and change the foreground to white and the font size to 16. Now let's copy the hamburger icon by holding the alt key and dragging the mouse and fill it with a different icon. Let's copy the activity text block in the same manner and change the text. Let's make some minor adjustments to the text and its alignment. So next we shall add one more rectangle which will hold all the news feeds. Here we will be just having a template of a news feed. So we will just change the fill to white and add another rectangle on top of the newly created rectangle and change the radius and the color of the newly created rectangle. In a real world scenario, you will have uh, actual icons and texts that will, uh, will replace these templates. 
here I am creating an ellipse which will act as an image and these rectangle bars which will act as text let's copy and paste before copying and pasting let's group the created newly created rectangle and its uh, inner controls into a grid and then copy and paste the grid now let's group all the uh, controls on the white uh, space into a block before that uh, let's add a small highlighter which will highlight uh, which tab the uh, news feed is on okay so let's in let's uh, group all the newly created controls the highlighter the actual rectangle and the uh, two grids into a block rename it and let's create a duplicate of that newly created block so select the block and copy and paste it okay, rename it to a block 2 and then change the position of the highlighter to the community tab and select the whole block and move it outside the window so now next we'll start the animation so to animate this uh, we will first uh, go and add a storyboard and on the first keyframe let's record on the first keyframe let's add a keyframe for both the blocks and on the first keyframe let's move the blocks so here I am moving the block 1 outside the uh, window and uh, the block 2 will be moved inside the window which will act as as if the community tab is on and the friends tab is off and here I am repositioning the block one in a round robin fashion and I'll hide the block one and I'll repeat the same process again for the community tab as well so before that let's set the triggers so I'll trigger the animation on click of the friends text block so that works fine now let's add one more storyboard and repeat the same process but before doing that on the first key frame let's so when we animated the first storyboard we what we made is that we made the block one to move outside and block two to move inside so now when we begin the storyboard two we should ensure that we start from the same position wherein the block block two is inside and block one is outside so i'm making sure that the same position is maintained here and now on the first keyframe I will move the block 2 outside and block 1 inside so this process will keep repeating based on which tab you click so as you can see I am maintaining the same process on the last frame
So again, I will go ahead and uh, set the trigger on the text block too. So here uh, I notice that uh, the uh, tab which is clicked is not highlighted properly. So we'll have to reverse the storyboard animation. So we'll go and uh, toggle the storyboards for the text blocks. There you go guys, our animation is perfectly fine and working as expected. Hope you all liked watching this video. If you do, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.